In this video we're going to do a little experiment with this Silverline A repeller. So the purpose with these things is that they create some kind of noise apparently that are going to scare the rats and mice and those little creatures that you don't want to have inside. And I have had some problems with with uh, mice here in my office. So I got this one as a Christmas present actually. And then of course we have to find out how do they work? Um, as an acoustician, I become very curious. So here I have a Norsonic 150 with the ultrasound option enabled here. So you can see it measures all the way up to 40 kilohertz now. So we're going to see what happens when we turn this one on and see what's going on. Okay, let's do it. I can't hear anything, of course. But you can see here on the graph that it's some kind of sound pressure is going up and down. And that's supposed to be scary for the animals. I can talk now because uh, I probably don't have that much f sound content in my voice uh, at uh, the 40 kilohertz band. So that's why it doesn't really matter. And if I turn it off, this. Yeah, and we can see that it goes down to zero. So it's it's definitely making sound here, even though I can't hear it, thankfully. Let's see if there's any more sound. How far down in frequency does this one create noise? There seems to be something going on in the 31.5 band as well. You can see it goes up and down, and then we turn it off. Yeah, and it's gone. One more then. 25k. Yeah, something is there as well. 20. Doesn't seem to be anything in the 20 hertz band. 20k, I mean. Oh, well, yeah, actually there is a little there. Hmm, that's interesting. Because you usually, they usually say that human beings, with uh, w when their ears are working properly, that you can hear up to 20 kilohertz. And there, there is... I, I get... Um, what's it called? Registrera. It's registering some no noise output up there. I can't hear it. Probably, I don't know. I haven't really done a test myself to see where my ears go <laughs> to zero, but... Perhaps a really, really sensitive ear could perhaps hear it because it creates something up in the 20 kilohertz range. But most of the energy was clearly way higher than that, so it's uh, very unlikely that this would create a problem, I think. So, I don't know. We'll see if, uh, if I can get rid of my uninvited uh, guests with this one. I hope so, at least. Yeah, and in today's video, I'm wearing a green knit tie with this pullover thing and i think that's a really nice setup green eye color green tie always a safe bet see you later